Good afternoon. Sometimes the officers and first responders who help us get hurt. It can mean missing a lot of work and taking a pay cut. But one state representative is trying to change that. And today got the backing from the governor and another familiar face. News 13's Cole Miller is live at State Police Headquarters here in Albuquerque with more. Yeah, Kim, this bill is known as the Line of Injury, excuse me, Line of Duty Injury Act, and it would extend certain benefits to first responders injured on the job. First responders like Robin Hopkins. There's so many people that put their se themselves out there and they just need to know that they're taken care of until they get back to work. You'll remember Hopkins was one of four injured in a shooting with Christopher Chase in Albuquerque last October. She has been out of work ever since. Under current law, while she's recovering, her pay gets cut and the county doesn't pay into her pension. State Rep Paul Pacheco is sponsoring the bill that just recently passed through the House. It would give local and state agencies the option to let those benefits continue while the victims are off of the job. Governor Martinez says those hurt by the current law are victims and that they shouldn't be victimized again. You think this is a no-brainer. You think that people who are running into danger instead of running away from it, um, those are the ones we want to protect the best and the most because we want to continue to recruit people. Now, Martinez and Pacheco say they're both working hard to get this through the Senate. The legislative session ends next week. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Cole. Now, this bill would cover police officers, firefighters, corrections officers, and EMTs.